My name is Henry Dorman. I am here at KP Project here in Los Angeles on a new exhibition. It's called Henry Dorman, Looking Up. Why looking up, you're going to ask? Well, I've always been an optimist, even in dire times. I believe it's better to smile or laugh and then cry over the past. There's a new collection of prints that were never before shown, black and white, color. We mixed it up. It showed the diversity of what I've been shooting for over 50 years. And my specialty was not to specialize, but to handle many types of assignment from travel to fashion, news, hard news. I shot uh, pictures of the Buddhists immolating themselves in Vietnam at the time. Or it could be President Kennedy's inauguration. It could be the funeral. This is a variety of assignments that I did for life, the New York Times, Town and Country, Newsweek covers. This is a part of a story on constructions in New York and how New York was changing in the 60s. This was done during the strike, I think it was the newspaper strike in New York City, and life had a special supplement on New York. And it allowed us to do essays that we would not normally do. This is around 61st, 62nd Street on the east side in New York. I saw this young lady sunning herself. I said, great. And the cranes were digging just on the next lot. And I thought that was a very strange sight. So there we are. That was a double page in Life magazine. This picture is a French actress, Juliette Meniel, in Times Square. And this is in, it's a very early picture, 1959 in Times Square. This is Jane Fonda at home in New York City. Uh, she was on her bed. And I did a lot of photographs over a period of weeks. And it started with a Saturday evening post. This was early on, so I was not yet exclusively working for life. Here we have Leonard Bernstein, 1961, John Coltrane at the Jazz Festival in 1960, Elvis returning to Graceland. I was with him on the train to Memphis after he was released from the army at the New Jersey base in 1960. Marilyn Monroe receiving her first award ever for Best Actress in Some Like It Hot. And this is 1959. She was so thrilled to meet Anna Magnani, the, the Italian actress. I got them together as well. This is the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, at JFK inaugural ball. Brigitte Bardot in Paris, in a film by Louis Mal called Private Life. I even appear in the movie as a photographer. And I was really shooting during the uh, shooting of the movie. This is uh, Vidal Sassoon and friends water skiing in Long Island. 
This is at Club Med in uh, Corfu, Greece. In uh, 1965, Life did a, I think, 14-page essay on Club Med, and we traveled all over the Mediterranean. This is in Harlem in 1959. It was published in many European magazines as part of two essays, uh, 16 page, and covers two issues on New York City. In the early 60s, we were able to shoot color because magazines were able to print in color faster on news events, such as the Kennedy funeral, for example, in 1963. Life was able to produce a magazine over the weekend and it was at the following Monday. And in those days, it was quite amazing that uh, color could be done so quickly. Even though for European magazine, since it was not fast printing, I started to do color essays in the mid 50s because they were not urgent stories. They were features, like doing two issues on New York, one on Washington DC, one on San Francisco, the major international city. Each time it would be 16 pages and a cover. These were the golden days of photojournalism.